Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality, lovers of truth, wisdom, and the sarcastic way. <laughs> um, since we're um, talking about Karens and uh, Entitled mouthy women getting their way. Yes, I'm talking about Kathleen Kennedy. And uh, the whole fandom menace at the moment is an interesting exercise in, well, brainwashing, I suppose, human behavior, human reactions. Um, even the beloved big channels I saying oh no Kathleen Kennedy staying for good because Bob Chapek made a public statement blah 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 yeah well he has to otherwise what do you think is going to happen to the stocks for the company people wait for it people lie I know it's so shocking and I was saying, oh no, she's going to be there for a long time. Oh, isn't Star Wars is dead. I'm sorry, but the last time I checked, there are literally hundreds of EU books and hundreds of comics going back to 1977 that my illustrious fellow sarcastic Jedi detective, Citizen 333, and I have been deep diving into and thoroughly enjoying. What it means is that till further notice, cinematic and television Star Wars is dead. Star Wars in general is very much alive. As it was after Return of the Jedi, when the EU books and comics kept it alive for the next 16, 17 years. Okay? And human... I mentioned human behaviour. Human behavior is a, you need to imagine a, a good cockney voice here, is a beautiful thing. Especially when you take the time in your day, whatever you're doing, to pause momentarily and actually look around. And if this gobshite next door would stop um, doing home improvements at 7.30 in the morning, that would be fucking great. Yes, I know. The house and home ownership is your whole fucking life and the point of your pathetic little existence. I know. Oh, and reproducing, of course. Because, oh, you need to pass on your legacy. Which is, um, ego mind code for... Oh no, what happens when I die? How will I be remembered? So, I'll just create a, um, clone of myself. Um, pass on my DNA, and that way I will live on. Yes, people are that stupid. We are not our meat bags. Our meat bags are not who we are. They are the vehicle through which we experience humanity. There's a free before you. However, when someone takes the time to look around and um, study people wherever one finds oneself in one's everyday life um, there is much amusement to be had <laughs> especially yesterday when um, I went to one of my beloved cafes and uh, lo absolutely love the place it's uh, one of those wacky weird um, as unserious as possible kind of cafes where an assortment of eccentric, weird and wonderful characters flock and congregate. And um, I was sitting down, I had ordered my, my breakfast and my coffee. And then this fucking gobshot could actually just shut the fuck up for a couple of minutes. That would be fucking great. May I suggest using the hammer on your head? 
Australians and our home ownership. Seriously, it's the one thing I will never understand living in this country most of my life. You people are fucking insane. You don't own the land in this country. You're paying one and a half million dollars for a fucking building. Which you spend the rest of your life and then when you die the mortgage passes on to your children. How fucking stupid is that? And um, I had sat down at this point. And I, was, I took out my book as you do and uh, looking forward to a quiet reading session at my cafe. And uh, the cafe owner who is a, a wonderful woman um, sometimes gets into her um, over shall we say over exuberant moods which are amusing at the best of times and um, I just perhaps because I spent the, the early morning yesterday I started the day off by playing guitar I don't know but I just felt the sarcasm I felt the sarcasm swelling within me to put it in Palpatine terms um, yes, I know that was a terrible Palpatine. I wasn't even trying there. And the sarcasm just flowed. And um, one of the guys that sort of prepares uh, some of the meals and stuff there. Hell of a nice guy. Um, he just found that extremely amusing. And he sort of was trying to ascertain whether I had offended her or whether she was amused. <laughs> and I was talking and... Um, there was a typical sort of uptight Karen type customer, right? And um, the owner says, "Hey, blah blah blah. This um, this lady doesn't agree with what you said." And I turned, I smirked. You want to piss off a woman? Just smirk. They hate it. They absolutely fucking hate it. I smirked and I said, uh, "So and so." I stopped listening to what women have to say 13 years ago. <laughs> and um, the gentleman who was behind the counter making the um, the food, he was killing himself laughing. And uh, she was sort of, both of them were, in, were shell-shocked. See, because they're not actually used to a straight man speaking back, right? They're used to silence or yes dear, no dear, anything you say dear. Not this little black duck, sorry. And um, that totally stopped them dead in their tracks, which was absolutely fantastic. I was just laughing. Um, and I said, so and so, you need to realise there are some of us who are straight men who actually use the other head sometimes we've been known to use both heads at the same time and again she had to sort of take a break in the back probably have a cigarette or something and I was just continuing reading along my merry way <laughs> you have to you have to do this because they have been gaining more and more the idea that they are the focus of they, modern women, are the focus of modern existence, right? And everything everyone does, says, and works towards is for their empowerment and for their benefit, right? I'm sorry, but um, you want to be treated equal, you got it. If you verbally act like a cunt, and you're a man, you would cop it verbally. And so that's why we're giving you equality. You're welcome. I won't open the door for you unless you're a little, a frail little old lady who barely has the strength to reach the, the door handle. The little old ladies are the best anyway, so. Can't tell you how many times during my old job um, the, the little old ladies in their 80s would, would, uh, we would comment about, would talk about life or whatever in those brief moments. And, um, upon hearing that I've been a monk for 13 years, they would look at me and say, 
You know what, darling? The way women are today, stay that way. <laughs> um, and um, the shock I find when when you deal with Karens of all descriptions and all variations and and um, frequencies, um, intelligent witty banter and especially sarcasm uh, they're not equipped to handle because they're usually the the modern straight man in their eyes is a silent muzzled gimp designed to give them money which would kind of make them prostitutes but anyway they're not used to men actually answering back uh, which I find absolutely fucking hilarious by the way and so um, that's where we find ourselves. Um, amusement. You don't get upset. You don't allow yourself to be to react negatively. You develop the ability to come back with the witty one-liners with sarcasm. And um, again, when you're enjoying a nice little exchange with um, the owner and some of the, the regular people at said cafe, and you sort of turn to her and say, you know what this place is? This place is cheese on crack. And that's the way it is. That is your weapon, gentlemen. Witty banter, witty sarcastic reposts and responses just straight off the bat okay you don't get angry you don't get upset you don't get verbally abusive even with the worst of Karens it is the best of Karens it is the worst of Karens as yes, I could go on a Dickensian ramble here but I won't It is a Karen of the purple hair and the Karen of the big fat blob. Who probably has considered having sex with her cats at some point. It is a Karen who took Star Wars and turned it into a pile of crap. Who came up with a character that was literally a pet rock. <laughs> Geode. <laughs> Uh, it is the Karen of discontent, right? We are living in the era of the Karen of discontent. And um, yours truly, being able to buy what I want, when I want, where I want, um, went out of my way to buy yet another guitar and it should be delivered within days. So looking forward to that. It's a... Um, a Chapman guitar this time. I've always wanted one. I've never had one. Um, the ML3 Pro for those playing at home. Looking forward to it. It uh, sort of has a Telecaster body shape. and uh, Which would bring the grand total to... $8,600 for guitars during the last three months. <laughs> Uh, why? Because I can. And there's a secret where a friend contacts you and says, hey, I'm going to be in town, would you like a coffee? You do so, and you enjoy a nice long chat about life and the illusion of modern life and what the powers that be are holding back and not allowing people to, to know and archaeology and what's really going on in archaeology you know the good stuff so um sarcasm is your friend always remember witty good humored sarcasm is your friend never ever ever engage in the game that a Karen engages in because she will beat you over the head with experience and beat you the um Sarcastic 
the lone wolf on guitar out <laughs>